Okay, I've hooked up my hose to my flush out system and I've got my, my valve closed. So I put some water in my, uh, in my black and gray tanks so I could test out my monitors. Okay. And I wonder what the reading is going to be. All right, we'll start right here with the battery. Shows the batteries are full. My fresh one tank is empty. My fresh two is empty. And my black is one third. See that? One third. And my gray is two thirds. Okay. So it works, folks. Um, I'm inside the trailer. Let's go see what the temperature is. I've had the fan going for a while while I was gone. And let's see. I just turned on the air conditioner. Uh, got all my wires running. Outside. So I've got my heater pads. Wires are hooked up. I've got my black and gray tank uh, negative line, and I've got my black and gray tank uh, resistor lines. There's no voltage in these. It's, it's checking the tank monitors. Check the, the resistance. So we'll get more into that later if you want. But uh, okay. So what I've got, what I've got left from what I ran earlier, is I've got a hot and a negative. And this hot and negative are coming from the utility room <clears throat> because that's where my heat pads are. For my freshwater tank connections. This bundle right here of three, which is two reds, two hots, and a, and a negative, which is my white. This wire has a piece of black tape on it, which corresponds to the piece of black tape at the bottom of the trailer, which means my black water tank heater. Okay? So, all of these are going to go into my tank heater switch plate. Okay, if you can see that or not. Heater holding tank system. I got a fresh, a gray, and a black. And then I've got the two on the end that are going to be for my elbows. Now I didn't run the uh, I didn't run the the hot wires for the elbows yet because I didn't know where and you know how long or what have you. But when I get ready to do those, it's no big deal. I just run them down through my. Uh, my, my outdoor conduit and uh, just trying to find some light there we go okay all right so let me uh, let me temporarily mount this uh, let me temporarily mount this up here on my uh, on my uh, my wall probably do it right probably do it right there okay and then I can get all my switches wired and everything like that so um, let me do that and I'll be right back okay I've got my uh, I've got my uh, holding tank heater panel temporarily mounted 
Um, I didn't have any 16 gauge um, red wire, so I'm just going to use this uh, piece of blue wire, 16 gauge, to uh, temporarily hook it up. Um, what I did was I created a, a jumper situation to provide power to all three switches right now, just for testing purposes, and then I'll hook that into my my circuit panel instead of using a uh, a 5 amp fuse I'll just use a 15 amp fuse and that should cover the load for those three right now just want to test them out make sure the wires are working and uh, we'll get more into that in a little bit all right I'll be right back okay I've got my uh, my fresh tank my gray tank and my black tank uh, heaters installed and functioning. Boom. Now, I have to ask myself, how the hell do I know that they're working? Well, I mean, in theory, I don't. Because I'd have to wait for the temperature to get to where it needs to be. But I do know, based on the way I have the wire switched, okay, that I've got power going to all four of the pads. Now, when I say all four of the pads, oh, actually, I'm glad you said something because I don't even have the fresh water wires connected into the back, but I got to go do that right now. But the gray and black are absolutely wired and they should be functioning. Now, if my fresh water wires back there are touching, you know, negative to hot, I'd, have, I'd blow a fuse. I'd blow a fuse. But I, obviously the switch works, so it's not blowing a fuse. So, all right, let me go wire those and I'll be right back. Okay, I came back to the utility room. And I've got my heating pad hot wires, okay? And I've got my heating pad um, um, negative or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, negative wires. And like I said, I'm just, these are just temporarily connected. I've got to, I've got to attach them, you know, to the wall, put some tape around them or whatever. But I'm not moving the trailer tomorrow, so I'll do that tomorrow, but... I just wanted to see if, uh, you know, see if they were working or not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I don't have any water in my, in my fresh water tanks, but I'll test them tomorrow, I'll put some water in it, but I do have water, I do have water in my, my waste tanks. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn those on. let that run for a minute and uh, they have a thermostat in them so they may not kick on it's pretty warm here I may have to do it in the middle of the night but uh, but anyway uh, yeah I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to wait I don't know how I'm gonna test it but anyway they work so I've got those on number five. So my in coach number five is my tank heaters. Okay, so I got to make that little bit of a change because I had them all going into the back back utility room and individually fused and everything, and I don't want to do that. So all right, I cut this one done. And let's call this a wrap for today. We'll call this part two. Um, and uh, so our tank heaters work, our black and gray tanks. 
two thirds, one third our fresh gray and black heaters work. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Alright, let's see. Refrigerators at 47.7. And I'm wondering why the light didn't come on. And we're at four degrees there. Yeah. Why didn't my light come on? Now, surely it didn't blow out that quick. Oh, there we go. Okay, there you go. I don't know what I just did, but it worked. Okay, any water in the pan? Not much. And a little bit of condensation in the tray. Okay, and that's what that's for, and it drains out the back. Speaking of which, I gotta put that drain hose back through. Um, I've got the air conditioner set on 81. I think I'm gonna leave it on 81 and let it uh, let it do its thing keep it you know keep it nice and cool in here um, okay I don't have too much of a mess all this stuff I'm gonna be using again tomato tomorrow so I'm just gonna leave it all hang right here and I'm sure I'll come back out here tonight turn that off for a second so, all right, let me go close the back door. All right, anyway, like I said, this is the end of part two. Uh, we've got all of our tank, tank wires. Oh, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if you can see where they, they come out of the utility electric pipe. And I began putting the, uh, the shroud around it or the whatever you want to call it the plastic protector and I've got to do that to all the wires down so I'll do that tomorrow I just don't have it in me to do it today um, I hooked up my heat pad so life is good and there's mama beautiful mama ate a bunch of sausage and peppers my sausage and peppers mama was my helper today I didn't get yelled so, at so we're all done <laughs>